Ahoy there, Legion. Thank you for stopping by. Today we are going to do a hopefully short and to the point and uh, hopefully accurate tutorial on how to make two different blueprints communicate. And I had a lot of difficulty with this back in... There it is. Uh, back in 4.6. And I believe whatever... I don't want to say it wasn't me, but whatever was weird got dealt with. So now I can do it fairly easily, and hopefully you guys can too. But if you don't know how, this, this, uh, this is what this whole tutorial is about. Now, uh, this would work in theory with any blueprint, uh, not including level blueprint, game mode blueprint, stuff like that, uh, at least one way. I think game mode and level can pull it from others, but you can't pull uh, information off game world, game mode, and level. But uh, that, that's, that's somewhat out of the... The breadth of this thing, the breadth, breadth, either way, it's off scope. And in this case, we're going to add a billboard so we can see it. Clicky, there we go. And if you don't drag it into the world, it doesn't work. Get it? If you don't drag in, yeah, drag it in, okay. And uh, it looks cool, and it looks better than a little ball, in my opinion. It, was, um, it looks like a bad ornament, a really sad ornament. So we're gonna go and we're gonna jump to event graph, and we don't need any of this stuff up there, so let's delete it. We don't need to, but we did. It's gone. Sorry. And we're going to make a custom event. Add custom event. And it doesn't really matter what. Um, it could be anything you want. But we're going to say we're trying to fire a cannon. Uh, it could either be a space cannon. It could be one of the ye old timey cannons off a boat and stuff. That's fine, too. Let's straighten it out. OCD. And we'll do another delay right there. And we'll do one final print straight. Now, what the heck am I doing? Why am I doing this? Well, the event... Oh, I didn't even say why well, I jumped the gun. This is a completely bare-bones blank project. It's brand new. It's blank. I didn't bring the starter content in or anything. It's kind of hard to activate stuff that doesn't exist. So we're just using the power of imagination. And we're going to make this say, uh, a fuse is lit. At this point, when this uh, event triggers, is that correct? Fuse lit, yes. We're going to wait 0.5, which is half a second. And then we're going to say in all pirate speak, so it has to be in caps, of course, FOIR THE, oh, sorry, THE CANNON. And then a bunch of exclamation points for each pint of rum he ate and drank this week. So, there we go. He's really excited. So this actually is done. So we're done with Blueprint 2. And I do believe it looks like a dragon. So we're all set. That exists. Blueprint 1, though, we need to be a box. Specific like box collision, and this is actually kind of small. Hey, you want to see how small it's kind of cute looking? See, look at the guy, it's just that's adorable. Let me zoom, that's not zooming in. There it is, that, that's too cute. But we don't need this, we need it to be more bigger, more better. So, we're going to increase the size ever so slight. Zoom it out so you can see, looks like a box, still there. And event graph in this case, we're actually going to need the middle one when our face smacks with this and we collide with it or overlap it, we need something to have them. So I guess we're going to do another print stream because that is really the best way to explain it right now. And we'll do one more delay and then I think we'll just trigger it. So we're going to change this to something like uh, arming, uh, firing in three, two, one, and a, ex a broken ellipsis, that's good. It's for emphasis of the ellipsis. And we'll make it wait 3.2 seconds. So I figure it'll take a little bit to register, it pops up, and then count down three from that. So we, we give the, the viewer slash player a little bit of leeway. And now we need to activate Blueprint 2. So how do we get it? How do we talk to one another? We need to get all actors of class and then we need to change this drop down to the name of it so in this case bp2 blueprint2 whatever the name it is in your program your uh, project as it were uh, that needs to be here so it doesn't matter what this is all here just to get you the idea that it's working the print stream will let us know that it actually connects and we're not doing something wrong because if we have no visual how are we gonna tell and let's see so now it is activating sorry activating it is breathing. Wow, I don't know what it's breathing the brain. <laughs> it is sucking up the brain juice like a martini cocktail, and it is going to spit out something. And in this case, we want it to be cannon. So there we go. 
And autosave, why not? Sure, we're not busy, just get in the way. Thanks, hogging on the limelight here. So now, this is basically set up too. It is going to activate this print stream as soon as our face collides with the box. It is going to trigger a delay. After that delay, it's going to activate Blueprint 2's cannon. And Blueprint 2's cannon says to print this to the screen, delay it another half second, and say fire the cannon. Now if we did this all proper like, and it works, compile save, when we run into this box right here, it should do the trick. Now, just a little thing, because it'd be kind of hard to see, but if you hit play, everything's invisible. So we're going, oh, hello, blue dot. We're going to add this little box right here. We're going to shrink it down so it's just like a little podium. And yeah, I know it sticks out down there. Yeah, it's just a test, okay? If the player wants to see it, they got to jump off the side and die, and they, they deserve it in that case. I mean, yeah, they found it, but we still win. They're dead, right? And... Let's do that, and we'll put it back in perspective, and we're set. So we hit play, still don't see anything, and oh, there's the podium. And this should trigger the text in the right order, if we did it right. Arming, firing cannon, three, two, one, fuse lit, fire the cannon, and we are set. The, the two blueprints have communicated thusly. Here is, that's as far in as I can zoom it. I'll leave it on there for YouTube to make sure all the details are nice and shiny for you. Hopefully that explains it. And of course, get rid of blue, uh, the blueprint, uh, the print screen and stuff. You can put this like activate door or trigger harm, trigger damage, uh, cause explosions, uh, drop bodies from the sky, gore, guts, everything. Whatever you think needs to be in the game. What people need to see, really. That, that's what it all comes down to. So hopefully that did the trick for you. Thank you for watching, Legion. Catch you next time. Take care.